Hello, welcome back to the channel. It is Maskman Reviews back again with another video. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jay. That's my regular name, uh, my government name per se. And um, yeah, thank you for coming by. Um, you, I hope you really enjoy this video. If you're returning to the channel, welcome back. If I heard, if I hadn't heard from you in a while, make sure you drop a comment below so I know you're you're watching. All right. So let's get right into it. The theme here is Arabian Summer. Ten Middle Eastern fragrances for the summer. And I think all of these fragrances are really good summer appropriate fragrances. And I'll try to make this real quick, make the video quick, won't take too much of your time. So let's get right into it. Um, I could have put more fragrances in here. I could have made it maybe a 20 or maybe even a 30 list. But I think um, these fragrances I'm satisfied with and really they're not too much talked about. So um, hopefully you'll if you if you're thinking about a summer option for a Middle Eastern fragrance, I think any one of these uh, would be great. So the first one that I have in the lineup is from Asasi and this one is Satur Ta. And they have other fragrances in the Satur line. Uh, but this one is Ta, uh, has a, a beautiful aquatic feel to it. Um, it. It's just a really, a lovely scent. And um, has a lot of other things, but it's it's a, a sweet aquatic fragrance. And I think um, if, if you enjoy fragrances like... Similar to Gucci Guilty. That's what it gets comparisons to, but to me... There's just such a nice aquatic marine vibe to this fragrance, which is highly enjoyable. It's a it's been a go to for me. Cheap, so it's not like one of those cheapy Middle Eastern fragrances, but something that is well worth the price of admission per se. And this is Satur Ta. Uh, uh, the next fragrance is from Armoff, and this one is All You Need Is Love. That for, for summer fragrances for Armoff, there's quite a bit of bangers that they, they have released, um, especially the newer ones. Um, definitely um, summer appropriate. Um, quote, uh, air quotes, iconic. But this one um, is, is much different. I think it's not really talked about that much. Um, just a cool little fragrance that reminds me of Aqua de Jo Absolu, um, but this kind of does its own thing in, it, uh, in its own right. It's not as sweet Yeah, as... but it still has that same marine vibe that you find in ADG Absolu. So it shares a lot of the same qualities as ADG Absolu. And in the air, um, the sweetness is, is really dialed down, but... That, that beautiful um, aquatic feel to it is just always ever-present with this fragrance and definitely something that is great as a Middle Eastern alternative to Aqua de Jo. The next fragrance was my scent of the day today, and this one is from Latafa, and this one is Mahir Legacy. Really cool bottle with the horse head and this is just one of those fresh and clean scents definitely linear stays with the same scent profile doesn't develop much but it has a nice aromatic feel to it similar to your garden Feels almost kind of like you're gardening and there's, uh, you have some citrus plants in the background, things of that nature. Really nice and fresh scent, which is quite nice. The next one is a certified classic. So if you don't have this in your collection, uh, regardless of, it, of season, this is um, heavy in my rotation all year round. And this one is another one from Rasasi. And this is Hawass. That iconic blue um, 
or purplish juice. The bottle is just, you know, classic. And the fragrance is beautiful. Gets a lot of comparisons to Invictus Aqua. And um, I, I just think that Hawass is is its own thing. It's good on its own. Um, a, after trying Invictus Aqua and, 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 and its mar- many va- variations, I do see this being kind of in that scent profile. But Hawass is very unique and something that, as far as fragrances are concerned, is just a staple. If, if you're into men's fragrances... You need this in your collection. And this is Hawass for him. All right. So the next fragrance um, that I want to discuss is really, uh, I, I consider it a, a little bit stronger for the summer. It's it's definitely a more refined fragrance, something that is a bit more upscale. And it's upscale in presentation. It's upscale in smell. It's just a very upscale fragrance. But again, it is appropriate for summer. Performance on this one is everlasting. So this is a fragrance that will last you forever. If this fragrance doesn't last on you, you may have a problem. You may not be smelling it, to be quite honest. But what you get here is a a very peppery, um, spicy, and broxen with some nice citrus in there as well, but just a beautiful fragrance by Afnan, and this is His Highness um, Blue. Just wonderful. That presentation is outstanding, and um, the smell is is great. Um, I sprayed this on a shirt uh, a couple of months ago, and I put the shirt kind of back into the closet on a hanger, And it just permeated the closet for a couple of days. So definitely a a very long-lasting fragrance. Um, Maybe a little bit too strong for the summer, but I think um, the scent profile is appropriate. So uh, again, I think think of this more of a special occasion fragrance, but definitely easy to rock in the summer. Let's put that over here. Moving things around. So we have how many remaining? Five, huh? No, we have, yeah, five remaining. Um, this, this list is not in any particular order. I'm just kind of going through the list. Uh, the next one has this awesome uh, cucumber note, uh, which I find so fresh, so refreshing, so nice. Cucumber with pineapple. And um, this one is from North Stag, and it's called Sept. By North Stag, Sept 7. Wow, it was really nice. Kind of looks, reminds me of the YSLY bottles. Um, and it's cap. It kind of smells a little bit like uh, YSLY inspired. But if if anything, it's maybe a hybrid between uh, YSLY, that apple note, and Creed Aventus, pineapple note. Um but yeah, I think to me this is its own scent, uh, but a lot of people compare it to uh, Creed Aventus. Um, this is probably a fresher take on that uh, scent profile. Very nice fragrance and excellent for the summer. Uh, performance is okay. It's standard, um, but it will get you through the day, except. The next fragrance is from Al Haramain, and this is uh, Amber Oud Blue Edition. As you could tell, I put a little bit of a dent in there. Very nice fragrance. Um, very good for the summer. Has that um, blue vibe, you know, that um, new school aromatic fougere. Very fresh, very refreshing. A little, a little spicy, a little bit um, resinous too. The frankincense is detectable. Very nice fragrance. Um, performance is okay. It's not like a, a beast mode performance, but it'll get you through the day. I think all of these um, 
will get you through the day. There are some that are super beast mode, but I think that um, this one is um, is pretty good. And um, yeah, we're rounding off the list. It, it, it's getting a little bit crowded on my desk as far as all these fragrances are concerned. But we got three more to go. Um, yeah, like I said, this is not in any particular order, but I think that these fragrances are excellent, um, all of them in, in their own right. The next fragrance that I have for you is from the house of Al Haramain. And this one is Etoile Silver. Definitely a beautiful summer fragrance reach. Not challenging at all. Has a, a decent performance. Performs really good, actually. Not decent. And it has a beautiful aquatic, fruity feel to it. Just a, a dope fragrance. Something that is currently being slept on. But wow, what a fragrance. And when you wear something like this, it definitely boosts, it will boost your confidence. If you like scents like Aqua de Joe and Cool Water, I think you would like that one. And that's a Toile Silver. The next fragrance is from Mason Alhambra, and this is Megara. Megara is uh, a clone, and the fragrance that it's cloning is Orto Parisi Meg Megamar. And the, the name Mar um, translates to ocean. And this is definitely an oceanic fragrance. Kind of challenging sometimes, but it is excellent for the summer. So if you're looking for uh, a marine scent, this is definitely your marine option for Middle Eastern fragrances. Um, really nice. And then the last fragrance that I have is from Al Haramain, and this one is Janun Oud. Quite simply put, it's a clone. Um, the fragrance which it's cloning is Bulgari Tiger. And once it hits that mid, it becomes, I would say, 98% Bulgari Tiger for sure. The fragrance is one of those fragrances that will last you a good long uh, time. It'll last the whole day. But what makes this fragrance so distinct from the other ones is that it transitions through its phases, the opening, the mid, and the base. Gives you a, a brilliant um, ambroxan, bright, crisp feel to it, which is excellent for the summer. I hope you enjoy these fragrances. Um, let me know what you think if you tried any of them. And I, I really believe you can't go wrong with any of them as a summer option. All right, I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out later. Peace.